So conventional wisdom tells us that every time we get paid that we should always pay ourselves first. But we never, ever pay ourselves first. Want to know why? Stay tuned. Welcome back to another Sunday night sit down. I'm Talit. And I'm Ty. And we're managing money, marriage, and everything in between. So, have you guys heard that advice before? Right? Every time you see a personal finance guru, they always say, you know what you gotta do? You gotta pay yourself first because you have to take care of you. Mm -hmm. It sounds good. Right. It sounds pretty sound, like pretty sound advice, but we've never followed And that. when they say pay yourself first, that means, you know, opening up a savings account, putting money aside, pay yourself first so you can build some sort of wealth. But in our home, we don't pay ourselves first. No. What do we do? What do we do? I think we come in like second place, right? Yeah. Well, first <laughs> thing we do when we get our income, if you if we, if you looked at our budget sheet, the very first line is our church. That's we right. give. We pay our tithes to our church. That's we right. are unashamed Christians, followers of Jesus Christ, and he has told us that we are to tithe 10% of our income. Yep. Although Actually, 100% of it is his. It's all his. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and he asked us for 10%. So throughout the duration of our marriage, our thing has always been, first thing is our tithes. We never pay ourselves first. Nope. And you know what? Even before we got married, when I, I, was when I got my first job, not even my first job, I would get sometimes, you know, money, you know, like birthday money, or my grandfather would give me a $20 bill or whatever. Mm -hmm. Immediately, I knew at the age of 13 years old, two dollars goes to God you know and I need to put that in the offering basket and I would fill out the little envelopes you know and I you know was, was very proud to do that that was the least that I could do because he owned it all anyway you know out of you know the Bible's a big book yep and out of all those pages and all those verses there's only one time that God tells us to test him wow. to try him and that's with our time and he said won't I open up the windows of heaven amen so that's why we do it and it's not we haven't just and done for this. you out to finish the scripture yeah, go ahead girl and, and for you out a blessing that you don't even have room enough hey. to receive right ah. amen amen so only god can do that you know and we must say he's absolutely right for the duration of our marriage we brought that into our marriage that was like a non-negotiable we didn't even talk about it it was just understood no matter how difficult finances may have gotten no it matter, may have gotten difficult. exactly. No matter what, it's not ours anyway. So we wanted to be obedient to God and His Word, and we would always, always pay our tithe and even offering. But our tithe, that was a given. Mm -hmm. You know, now it's even to the point that every time a paycheck would come into our account, I immediately grab the checkbook and I write out the check for tithes. You know, so if church is on Sunday and let's say we got paid on a Friday, I'm writing it out on a Friday. You know, so I can already have that check ready. And that's the only reason why we have a checkbook is because of church. We write, <laughs> we write uh, our tithes and our offering to church using our checkbook. You know what? The, the, the thing about it is we've done this, like you said, in good times and in bad times when mm -hmm. it comes to financially. We started out, you know, with this nice income because we were both working. Mm -hmm. And we had four straight years where our income went down. Right. Every Four year. Four years in a row yep. where our income went down and we never felt it. Nope. Never. We never felt it. Right. We didn't feel no pressure. Right. We didn't feel no stress. You know why? Because we never stopped paying our tithes. Absolutely. We know that to be true. There are so many things and so many, you know, financial, not even just financial. It's, it's a spiritual, natural as well, too, that we know that have been blessings. God has blessed us simply because out of obedience. You know, and we don't pay our tithes to receive from God. No. We pay our tithes be, to be obedient to yeah. God. We don't, and actually, we don't pay our tithes. We give it back. There we go. You're right. <laughs> we don't Absolutely. pay our tithes. You're right. Because it doesn't belong to That's us. That's right. We give it. We give it. That's right. We give it. So. And, and, and you know what, guys? I've talked to people uh, who actually think that it's optional. Mm -hmm. You know, that if they don't have enough money to keep the lights on and things like that, or they actually think it's optional. And I kind of. I fear for them in that situation because I'm like, no, it shouldn't be necessarily optional. Your tithe should be something, because I guarantee you, 
that we all have some type of give when it comes to our budget. We all can be wasteful. Yeah. Do you mean to tell me that you have not uh, eaten out or purchased an item even when you were broke, when you didn't have enough money? You know, we find room and we find ways to buy for things that we want, you know, but we put God on the back burner. That shouldn't be the case. It's non-negotiable here in our it home. Is. And I think that that has been bigger than any um, savings plan that we put sure, into place. That's the truth. That's been better than any investment that we've that's made in the, the stock market. The best financial protection that our marriage has experienced right. is the favor of God. You know, and I ask people this too. Have you ever heard a lot of people say, you know what, I'm looking, oh, I, I want I want to be a millionaire. I want God to bless me with this. I, I'm, I'm waiting for that financial windfall and things like that. And I would ask them even the very same question, like, would you invest in someone that doesn't handle their money the right way? That doesn't turn around and give, you know, would yeah. you, would so you personally you had invest? a company right. and you hired a manager and they continued to waste the profits of your company, there you go. would you give them a raise? Right. No. Come on. We got to be better managers of what God has entrusted with us before that raise or right. before that quote unquote blessing, that financial windfall exactly. will come your way. Because some of us, the Lord knows, if he blessed you with more money, Don't it won't be them. going back to the kingdom of God. You know what I mean? And it'll be wasteful. You're absolutely right. You ain't paying your tithes now. How more money going to get you to pay your tithes? Exactly. Stop it. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> so guys, we just want to share with you all. Our reason we don't pay ourselves first. We pay ourselves second. That's right. And how important giving is to us. How important it is for us to give to our church. How important it is for us to give to charity. For us to be a blessing to others. Yep. You know, and we wouldn't have it any other way. We so really we want to hear wouldn't. from you though. What's your take? How do you view this topic? Because right. not everybody is on the, right. the tithes thing you know some people are like no nah, you don't have to it's optional like you talked about mm -hmm. we want to hear do you mm -hmm. guys view it the same way we do or do you view it differently i know that we can only speak for what we've lived and what we've been through and we know that we've only made it this far by the grace of god and we've only it's only been because well, of our obedience the bible even talks about you know when you don't um give your tithe it's like you have a hole in your pocket mm -hmm. You know, have you ever tried take, having a, a hole in your pocket and you put money in it and, it and it keeps falling out? It's like you can never hold on to it. Well, when you don't give your tithe to the Lord, you have a hole in your pocket. I'm sorry to tell you, but you will never get back on top. You will never be in a place financially so where you can actually say that, oh, wow, you're stable, you know, or um, you don't really want for anything. You will, you will never. You would always feel like you have to struggle. You know what I mean? At least I believe that. I believe it too. So that's it for this Sunday night sit down. That's right. So visit us and come back on next week, guys, next Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, where we will be together during another Sunday night sit down. Also, don't forget, check out our YouTube channel throughout the week. We post videos multiple times throughout the week. And we just love sharing with you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget, visit us over on our website at hisandhermoney.com. Don't okay. forget to tune into our podcast on Yay. iTunes, the His and Her Money Show. Man, we got some great stories lined up for this week. You definitely want to subscribe and leave us a review. If you listen to the iTunes show and you like it, leave us a review on iTunes so other people can hear about it too. That's right, guys. Subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already. And until next time, peace. Bye.